All right, guys. Today we're experimenting with my Dremel. It runs at 35,000 RPMs, and I figured, you know, I see a lot of stuff put on Dremels, all these different accessories. I mean, what's the difference if you spun anything at 35,000 RPMs, and just to see if it would cut certain items? So I put a piece of printer paper on the end of one of these shafts. You usually get it with like one of these diamond blades or one of those small stone blades. Okay. And I just want to show you what it can do at 35,000 RPM. So when you cut your piece of paper and put it on here, you can spin it and just tap it on the edge of the scissors and it will round it out. Alright. Once you've rounded it out, you start cutting. Oh. As you can see, it just cuts the living daylights out of that stuff. Look at that. I've actually cut all the way through these most of the time that I try this. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's other materials that I could be using, right? So if I get rid of that head and I bring this one over. This is a piece of packaging cardboard. It's the thin kind that comes... Uh, this, it's not really that structural, okay? But you'll see, this stuff is even tougher. Okay, so now it's ready to go. Cardboard, the very thin cardboard, it's almost paper. Um, it is much tougher, it's much easier to use it on items that are plastic. Okay, uh, it could actually cut this thing in half in no time. If my hands weren't so shaky, I'd show you. Okay, but what else can it do, right? Maybe plexiglass, as you can see, I've already been doing this, right. What's amazing is it makes these freaking webs something else, man. It's a whole different subject right there. But you can see it cuts through plexiglass. If you don't mind the cobwebs. Alright, I mean it's not thick plexiglass, but still. What else could it do? I've tried it on pine. This is a 2x4. See, I've already been cutting it. See how I'm, I can sink this baby in here. Okay, now if you aren't impressed, I don't know what to tell you, man. Look at that. And look at the shine on that cut. It gives it this burnished, just shinier than hell polished look. Um, 
I think that you could actually probably just use these discs to polish stuff like aluminum or any other kind of metal. Maybe even steel if you had some abrasive, uh, like, jeweler's stone or whatever you want to call it. But look at that. Piece of cardboard. This thing is still intact through wood. Okay, so... Next, uh... I've tried, let me just list for you the stuff that I've tried. I've tried aluminum, I've tried uh, sandpaper, I've tried cellophane from a chip bag, I've tried all kinds of stuff. Um, you know that Dremel actually uses, um, they actually use sandpaper for, for some things, but you really don't need to buy theirs. I mean, I don't mean to down on their sales or nothing. But because you can just basically attach a piece of sandpaper to like this wrinkled up piece of sandpaper. Watch, it will work. Um, put it on this way. Now, when you uh, let this one even out, you're going to have to do it on something tougher than a pair of scissors because it's sandpaper. So, let me get this on real quick. They show these wimpy little pieces of sandpaper come in the kits with the Dremels. And I don't know what else, what new stuff they have, right? But I figure, what's the point, man? Well, you could put all these little accessories on yourself from junk laying around the garage. I'm going to show you something neat. All right. Now it's all evened out. Okay. And here's my piece of pencil I cut in half with a piece of sandpaper earlier. So, you could actually sharpen your pencil with this thing. You know, or yeah, you could even sand stuff with it. Look at that. We're on the bed, you can cut this pretty easy. The problem with sandpaper is it tends to shift to one side or the other depending on which side the sand's on, and the sand flies off. So it's really not as impressive, but I just thought I would show it. So there you go. There's plenty of stuff you can play with. I will say that some of the stuff gets a little more dangerous. Um, when you start using metal to cut things, they can fly apart. Try to be safe. I know we, I know we got the safety police here today. They're sitting somewhere in the audience and they're going to say something stupid. So, anybody listening to this video, if you see some dumb comments below, go ahead and, you know, tear them to pieces for me. I get tired of making comments back to these idiots and erasing them and the stuff they say. So, with that said, um, I wish you would like this video. Um, you don't see much original content on YouTube anymore, so that's nice. At least I think this is my original idea that no one else has had. Um subscribe and uh yeah keep an eye out for my videos because uh i got a lot of them and uh they're all pretty decent so i'll catch you guys later